Can you that you pass on this side? Because a lot of people are weaker on their left hand side than the right hand side. When it comes to their guard. Alright, so for the first control, I'm trying to control the head and the shoulder and I'm dropping my hand by the hip and I'm on my toes here. This is the first point of control. So in this position, as you can see, I'm blocking the hip, controlling the head, and this is the first point of uh, side control that I want to control. The second one, I'm still controlling the head, but this elbow is going to block the hip, and then I'm going to sit my hip by his hip. My head would be right here, right, right around his chest and shoulder. So from, from here, the reason why I really like this position is because on this side, I'm blocking both hips. So, so even if he explodes, it doesn't, it doesn't matter because I'm blocking both hips, so you can't move side to side here. The big problem that a lot of people do, especially with the kids, is that they control this way, and, and there's so much mobility on the hips. So like, try not to completely control the head, because then your hips are free. So that, that's why it's always really good to kill the hip. While I'm blocking the hip on this side, and on this side, and I can, I can chill here if I want to. And I'm putting a good amount of weight. So, for the third one, I'm going to go over a situation where he already has an underhand. I'm blocking his hip with my elbow, and I'm blocking his head with my left elbow. In this situation, I'm going to step over the head, and I'm going to replace the right elbow with my left elbow. Right here. And my head's over. Now take that back step, and I'm here. So, from here, you obviously can take it back at the hip wrap if you want, but we'll just put his head up here for today. So I'm going to go over each option one more time. So, first option, I'm controlling the head and I'm blocking the hip. So I'm sitting here. Here, and I'm on my toes. There's not many options that Philly has in here. And I, and I feel really heavy on top of it. So the second one, I'm still controlling the head, but I'm blocking the hip with my right arm. And I'm dropping the right hip by his hip. So, so from here, I'm, I'm connected on both sides of the hips, so that's why it's a very good uh, position for control. And, and from this position, um, there's a lot of things I can do. I can start, I can start switching over and I can, I can start attacking my arm, right? But just, just like staying here for a bit is really good because they usually screw them around for a bit. <laughs> they try to bridge into you, they try to do all sorts of things, but, but it tires them out and then it gives you an opportunity to start advancing. So, for the third one, okay. this time he has an underhook. So the common mistake that a lot of people do is they get underhook, they try to re underhook, and obviously that doesn't work. They get behind. So, so if he's on, his side, on the side of his hip and he has that underhook, I'm going to block his hip with my elbow, and I'm going to block his head right here. Now his underhook is useless. So from here, I'm going to step my foot right over his head, just right here, and then my left elbow is going to replace my right elbow. So I'm dropping this, dropping my head, keeping that back step, and I'm here. So from here you can do what you want, you can start passing this over, getting that, that gift wrap, you can take it back. So those are the three positions for, for side control. Does anybody have any questions?